Hey there, pal, and welcome to Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, I'm Lazy Bones. <clears throat> and we're in the middle of a conversation with some uh, kids. And uh, we're, we're going to tell them something that they may not want to hear. But uh, kids, <sighs> Joe, <laughs> that Joe, he was, uh, he was a cool kid. He's a nice kid, but uh, he's dead. He's dead! All right, kids, it's time you heard. Ah, oh, come on! So here's the thing Joe was eaten by a shark. Ah. No, that's a horrible thing to say. When did they start I this? I bet it wasn't Joe. I bet it was someone else's leg in that icky shark. She bursts into tears, then looks from you to her and back again, then starts crying too. Hmm, Neil, mm, hug both children to you. Tell them it's going to be all right. Pat the children gently on the head. I don't really like kids. So here's a pat on the head. They're inconsolable. You leave them in tears. Uh, yes. All right, so on the last episode, we got... Uh, what's her name? Siva? Shiva? Well, we freed that lady. That lizard lady. And... Uh, we got uh, some new weapons. Joe's mom nice. We found. Well, I don't know if I am gonna upload that episode because not much happened. But uh, I found this marketplace. There's some good stuff. This guy sells weapons and armor. This guy sells fish for some reason. Nobody wants it. This guy's a lot of uh, books and potions right here. I talked to everybody. This guy, this jerk. This freaking jerk. Yes, yes, he was hurting his dog intentionally in order to get some pennies. And uh, I stole all of his money because of it. He just deserved it. But that's pretty much it. From uh, in between episodes. And now we have to find. Uh, where is my journal? Here it is. Law. Where, which one is it? Oh. Is it this? Huh? This one's closed. What? <clears throat> we told the magisters that their caravan was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just had a conversation with uh, one of the guys. Oh, also we have this thing. Where is it at? This guy, rite of passage. We talked to the guy who was in charge of this place, and uh, we convinced him that we wanted to be a recruit. So now he can walk around this whole place without being attacked. It's great. Pause it. Read it. You got it. And so now our mission is to find uh, a dwarven queen. Magister Julian has tasked us with investigating the dwarf Loar's involvement in the suspicious events happening around Driftwood. He suspects there's a base of operation in the Reaper's Bluffs, where he hopes we can find evidence of his working. Uh, for the Dwarven Queen. See, that's what we have to do. But for now, we're going to touch this dog. The dog barks at the sand built up beneath the building. Tell it is... Uh, tell it it's a good dog. Okay. Ask what it's barking at. Tell it to shut up or you'll give it a kicking. No way. Mm. You're a good boy. You're nice, and I'm a good dog. Yes, I am. Yeah, yes, you are. Ask what it's barking at. There's something not right, and that's wrong. It's under the house thing there, and it's bad. I can smell it. Hmm. Remark that everything smells bad around here. Tell it you trust its instincts. You look into it. Everything smells bad. Wait, actually, I trust you. Good boy. You be careful now. What's under there smells real bad. It smells evil. Hmm. So do I just... Oh. I don't care if you tear this place apart plank by plank. We will find him. Huh. You can't just charge in here and ransack my business. There's a murder on the loose. And you're... Oh man, I'm gonna get so distracted in this place. This place is huge. Look at this. We have the authority. Look at this craziness. 
And if we suspect you're hiding their killer, we'll throw you Sorry. to the damn void woken. Uh huh. If any of you see so much. There's a sorcerer there. somewhere in this worm ridden dump. Have you seen him? Grey cloak, grey beard, satchel of books. Tell the magister that you haven't seen anyone. I haven't seen anyone. Lucian's teeth. Where is that runt hiding? If you see anything suspicious, anything at all, report it immediately. Do you understand? Wonder why he's looking for this person. Say that you do and take your leave. Why are you looking for this person? He's a sorcerer dressed as a tinkerer. Our brothers started vanishing as soon as the tramp arrived in town. He fled into this stinking shed, but we'll find him again. We'll have our justice. Right, right. Wish the Magister well in his hunt and take your leave, soldier. An attack on one is an attack on the unit. Do you understand his zeal? No, but justice. <laughs> you furrow your brow. You haven't seen any courthouses around here. Turn away from the Magister. You don't need any more attention. Justice? Well, I haven't seen any courthouses around here. The Magister looks at you for a long, hard moment. Uh oh He seems angry, puzzled, and amused in equal measure. We have all the evidence we need. There will be no court of appeal for this sorcerer. Oh, no. Now, I've got a coward to catch. Excuse me. Huh. The missing Magisters. So... I heard somebody say something about a murder. I'm busy. Okay. You tell the magisters. Squishers still the face. Probably talking about some bodies. Is there like a cellar door somewhere? Hmm, might have to take something from that later. <laughs> Did we talk to this guy? Greg? The dwarf peers at an expertly dissected fish, gently poking its innards with his knife. Fascinating. Most fascinating. Mm. Oh my, I mean, no, oh, uh, what do you want? Ask him what he's doing. Note that the surly tone in his voice seems a little forced. Hmm. What are you doing? I'm gutting fish, what else? Note that he's uh, doing his work with a strange amount of diligence compared to the others. Ask what part of his job calls on him to whisper to the fish. Well, I mean, I that's fine, I guess. Everybody whispers to stuff, I think. I mean, at least I do. <laughs> There's a lot of diligence in your work. Nothing wrong with taking pride in your work. Shrug and leave him to his work. Roll your eyes and say that it's that's plain he's up to something, and it isn't fishmongering. It's a long shot to to wonder he's doing something more by just playing with fish guts. But I'm curious. And so am I. Uh, what are you planning? The dwarf grimaces and points the tip of his knife at his handiwork. Whatever's wrong with these fish is causing a lot of hardship for a lot of folk. I want to figure out what's happening to them. See if there's anything that can be done. Oh, ask if he needs any help. Wonder what the likes of him could possibly do. What could you do? No, do you need any help? Yes, as it happens. I need to see the effects of eating these fish mm -hmm. firsthand. No. If you understand me. No. <laughs> I don't want to eat those nasty fish. Say that you'll eat the fish if he's sure it'll do some good. Cast a skeptical... Ugh. My tongue is not working today. Cast a skeptical eye over the fish on his work table and ask what's in it for you. Tell him to eat the damn fish himself if he's so keen to learn more. Sharply refuse to even touch those fish. They're bound to make you as sick as a dog. Fudge. This is a tough one to decide on. What would you do, old man, lazy birds? Mm. 
Why don't you do it yourself? No, I can't eat the fish. I need to properly observe its effects. And I can't do that if I'm, well, if I'm indisposed. See that? Uh... Well, then what do I get? Do as I ask, and you'll be amply rewarded, I guarantee you. <gasps> I don't, I don't do this for the reward. I do it to save lives. Wonderful. Now, there's three samples that I wish to learn more about. Care to choose? Oh boy. Mmm. Gosh, a brown fish. Gross. Uh, yellow fish. Uh, I'll take the yellow fish. The fish instantly churns your Diseased? insides. You double over in pain. A sudden vivid sensation of floating in darkness assails you. There's something in there with you. Something. Hungry and corrupt. You can't breathe. You can't breathe. Oh no. The dwarf suddenly drifts back into view, peering at you with fascination. How do you feel? A stream of black bile suddenly erupts from your mouth and across the dwarf's boots. He doesn't even look displeased. Hmm. Catch your breath and say that you saw things. Terrible things that you can't even describe. So that you feel chill to the bone in a... In a most unnatural manner. I saw some things, man! I saw some things! I see. Well, I'm sure it was nothing but a side effect of the fish. Speaking of which, I've learned a great deal from observing you. I owe you a great debt. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I was reading it in my head. I gotta read it out loud. Uh, ask what he learned from observing you. Point out that he owes you more than his gratitude. You were promised a reward. Declare that you ought to throw him to the Void Woken after he let you eat poisonous fish. Hmm. What did you learn? The dwarf puffs up his chest and proudly gestures to the fish. The fish is indeed malignant. Humans are affected by it in the same manner as other species. Hmm. Ask that you are willing to try another if the reward is increased to match your efforts. Scowl and say that you didn't need to eat the damn stuff to learn that. And I didn't need to eat this damn thing to learn it. Don't you see? If all species are affected the same, then one cure will save them all as well. Just as soon as one is found, that is. Right. Now for your reward. <gasps> This might the fish you oh. ate is known as Yellow Ridgeback. Fudge. Quite a cunning breed, often used in concoctions to increase alertness. But this one, touched by the void itself. Who is to say how such a creature might alter an alertness mixture? Seek out somewhere that peddles alertness herb mixes. Adding these um, unique Ridgebacks might make quite the impact. Hmm. So. Now my work must continue, as soon as I've got in my quarter of fish, of course. Farewell, stranger. But I want to eat more fish so I can get more reward. Oh. Potent al alertness something. Well, where's my crafting screen? Crafting panel? Oh, I suppose uh, that I think would be in food? Maybe? Maybe? No. Is it potions? Potions. Here we go. Potent. That's the one, right? Potent alertness. Herb mix. Okay, let's let's combine. Where am I going? Where's he going? <laughs> let's see where he's gonna go. <laughs> where are you going, old man? I'm just another useless elf. Ah! Oh, I want to see him do what he's doing. <laughs> That's weird. It's, he's never gone and let's bring it. What the heck? Oh, I wanted to see where he was going. He was like gonna go in here some for some reason. Interesting. That was weird. Unless I clicked on the map somehow. But they don't do that, do they? No. Nope. That's weird. At least we got XP out of that. That's good. Where's that potion? Here it is. 
a more potent version of the herbal mixture for alertness, the effect should last quite a bit longer. Interesting. Hmm. So much to explore. Uh, and I don't know if I should do this stuff on camera to talk to everybody or if I should do this stuff off camera and then just do the missions. I mean, I could do a you mission right stranger. now. What are you doing here? Nothing. Say that you're just passing through and aren't looking for trouble. Challenge the Magister. Who's she to ask you questions? <laughs> Explain that you have business with her superior and walk away. We already did this. But, uh... Who the hell do you think you are? I'm someone investigating the disappearance of four Magisters. There's a sorcerer stalking these streets. An affront to our order. Right. Several brothers have gone missing. Now tell me, have you seen a man in a grey cloak? Grey beard? Carrying a satchel, perhaps? Hmm. Say that you haven't. Smile and say that you haven't had the pleasure, but you'll let him, let them know if you find him. Hmm. What does he mean by let them know? Does he mean let them know? Or let, uh, them know? I haven't had the pleasure. The Magister's eyes narrow, and her lip curls as she assesses you. It's vital that you report anything unusual. We must know. Is that clear? Ask about this person she's hunting. Say that it is and... Wait. Say that it is and take your leave. Who are you hunting? He arrived in Driftwood some days ago, dressed as a tinkerer. He bought and sold a few knickknacks. But we thought nothing of it until our brothers started vanishing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As soon as he knew we were onto him, he ran. We think he's hiding in here, but he's a canny one. Oh. Now, be on your way. Who knows where he could strike next? Interesting. Huh. Well, let's continue our search in the fish house. What the heck is this dog talking about with these bodies? Oh, you know what? He can... Yes, he can. What are you doing? He's the one that usually can fit under small places. And he can't. Okay, never mind. Never mind. What the heck? Talk to her. I guess we can go up here and talk to them. What's this place called? The fish house or something? Or did I just make it up? If any of you see so much as a rat's head, there's like a sign. You, tell them you see a man, well oh. fed and wealthy. No. The stress has lined his face and narrowed his waist. He seems to be expecting you. He offers you a large and rusted key. Oh. You took your time. The Magisters are searching the place, and Lohan needs to get his stuff out of the basement if he doesn't want to lose it. Ask him who Lohar might be. Take the pro preferred key basement stuff. Got it. Hmm. I think he has a mistaken with somebody else. Good. And if you get caught, I know nothing about it, and this conversation never happened. Good day. Push your luck, ask where the entrance to the basement is, give him a serious nod, and walk away. We can find the uh, basement. Sweet. So, uh, okay. Now we have to find the basement. I'm totally going to steal some stuff off camera. <laughs> All this stuff. Okay. Wait, who's that? Did we talk to you? You, tell me. Have you seen a man acting suspiciously near here? Grey cloak. If yeah, you see anything suspicious. Hmm? What? You've been needing something from me, lad. Ain't much inclined to rub elbows with humans if you catch my drift. Argue that his attitude is rather short sighted. Best to, te uh, best to stand together in times like these. See that dwarves give you a rash, but you usually have the decency to keep that to yourself. We must stand together! 
Ain't no one been standing together since Lucian died. Uh, Ain't been no goodwill among your kind or mine or anyone else's since the Reds have been in charge. Wink and whisper, you're not exactly a fan of the Magisters either. Express shock and say that the Magisters are the law and the law we have to respect. I don't really like the Magisters either. <laughs> Glad to hear you say it. The day will come we'll overthrow them, you mark my words. Until then, I'll practice the art of gutting on spoiled fish. Ask if he knows anything about this fugitive the Magisters are looking for. Inquire after the reason he dislikes the Magisters so. So, uh, do you know anything about this fugitive? Fugitive? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't think that's something I should be discussing with strangers. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Tell him it's very clear he dislikes the Magisters. So why not discuss an enemy of the Magisters? Insist he speak his mind. You want to hear what he knows about this. Knows and that. That. Oh, okay. Come on! Come on! Because I don't intend to end up with me lips stitched together, that's why. Oh. No, no, I shan't be baited. I ain't saying nothing on the topic no more. Interesting. Hmm. Strength, constant. Constitution and wits. Strength and wits. Stare at him hard in the eyes and say you can always beat it out of him. <laughs> okay. Say that you intend to help uh, the fugitive in questions, which would seriously annoy the magisters. Appeal to his compassion. The fugitive is a, as good as dead unless someone steps up. Memory hero say that he has no choice if he knows anything that it's his duty to speak and it is your duty to save this man's life Hmm. hmm. I think he would go with wits Yeah Yeah, yeah, let's uh, uh, wits Aha. Godspeed Buggered fine. I'll tell. I'll tell you all I know. Good. The dwarf leans in and begins whispering conspiratorially. This fella runs along, right? Sweating, panicking. Red's resting after him like hunting hounds. Hide in a barrel, you fool, I yelled. And what do you know? He did. Huh? Problem is, he's still in there. Been hours. Can't go nowhere, he can't. Not with the Reds around. Oh, he's in a barrel. He's in a barrel. Huh. It's probably in this one. Uh, oh. Hi, hello. I'm just gonna check now. Dang. Where the heck is... It's gonna be really tough to find this guy. Oh, is this the cellar? The red? This red thing. Hmm. Oops. Oh, we're back in here. Containers, the fish in one of the barrels shifts slightly. Please, you have to help me. The Magisters have gone mad. Ask who you're talking to. Observe that the Magisters might be mad, but they're not the ones hiding in a barrel. Uh, siddle over to the barrel. Wonder if this is the man the Magisters are hunting. Ignore the barrel's protestations and walk away. I wonder. I don't know what they're talking about. 
Oh, I've nothing to do with the missing magisters. I'm just a tinkerer. I wouldn't hurt an imp. And now they want to execute me. Please, you have to help me. I have to get out. Wonder what's in it for you. Look over your shoulder to be sure you're not being watched. In a whisper, ask what he needs you to do. Lean casually against the barrel and quietly ask why the magisters are looking for him. Shrug and take your leave. This isn't your problem. Laugh at his plight. You can't wait to see his face when the magisters pull him out of the barrel. Okay, though. No. Hmm. Hmm, one of these two. Why are they looking for you? I have no idea. I only arrived in town a few days ago. I sold a few items to Grandmaster Kem in Ox and stopped off here on my way to Sysil. I was just sitting in the tavern, minding my own business, and the Magister started screaming at me. I ran and, well... You hear a quiet sob from the fish. <laughs> Why is this happening? I didn't do anything. Pat the bearer comfortingly. Surprise it. Promise. Oh my gosh. Promise it that everything will be okay. Narrow your eyes. It seems a bit of a stretch to accuse someone just because they're new in town. Shark and take your leave. Mm. Seems a bit of a stretch. There's a moment of silence from within the barrel. Some of the fish seem to shift uncomfortably. Uh-oh. I, I may have been studying some new scrolls I bought. They might have been, well, they called for sauce. Huh. But that doesn't mean I had anything to do with the disappearances. I'm a tinkerer. I'll fix things for a living. I would never hurt anyone. Huh. Glance at the barrel suspiciously, but if he's not responsible, who is? Wonder what's in him. No shoulder. That's what he needs for me to do. So that who is responsible? I don't know. It could be anyone in the tavern. Tavern. None of them have any love for the magisters. Please, all I know is it wasn't me. Hmm. Wonder. Uh... All right. What do you need me to do? I just need to get out of Driftwood. I can't risk being seen. But if you can get out of town, I can escape to Ox. Please, I'll do anything. Just don't let them see me. Don't let them find me. Huh. Not and tell him to follow you. Say that you'll help, but you need time to wait here a little longer. Change your mind. You need him to wait. Let's do this. Let's do this. Thank you. Oh, Lucian. Seven times divine. Thank you. I'll follow your lead. But please, be careful. If the Magisters see me, I'm done for. All right. Let's get the heck out of here. Can I make him sneak? No, I can't. He'll just follow me, right? Huh, crap. How the heck? Okay, we can't go that way. Uh, we can go this way, but this guy's going to be there. We can go... Oh, we're going to have to go through the sand. Alright, we have to go that way. Alright, let's go. I'm not going to be sneaky. It's just going to be us two. But to be very fat. Oh, I can go down through here. Aha. Uh -huh. This is gonna hurt. Oh. No, what are you doing, you idiot? Oh, never mind. Aw, <laughs> oh, crap. Run. Run! 
Run! Damn it, you fool, run! You! You ah. found him! Excellent! <laughs> now stand aside! <laughs> no! <laughs> the Magister steps forward with a smile and draws her weapon. Oh, he looks like me. <laughs> He's my brother, no! What? what? No, you said you'd help. You promised. But you're you the fool. You promised you'd get me out. You, you. It's all your fault. Step away from the tinkerer. You don't want to get on the magister's bad side. Draw your weapon and step between the magister and the tinkerer. You've been aching to trash a magister all day. Damn it. If you didn't look like my twin. Oh, what a fool. Very well. If you want to share his cause, then you'll share his fate. Uh oh. What level is she? Mark? Oh. Oh, he's got no armor. Okay. Hmm. This isn't good. I know I can get my crew on me. What the heck? Oh, I hate this. Where is it? There it is. No. This. Anything? Path interrupted. <laughs> Don't you poison me. Oh, it's his turn. I guess attack. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Nice. Oh, it's my turn. Again. Sweet. Let's mm. do well. Not as good as I was hoping. Okay, let's do this. Smack! Ooh. Oh, I control this guy? Okay, nice. Uh, options, options. I've never seen this. Control the forces of nature so the wind is literally at your party's back. An aura increases your allies' movement speeds while they stay close to you. I've never seen this either. Nether swap. Make two characters switch places. One of the characters can be you. Oh. Well, I know what this does. Hopefully the blood doesn't electrify. Hopefully. It does. Oh, it didn't. Amazing. And then I guess just regular. That's all. Uh, I'm sorry. Ay. This guy... It's an idiot. And there's nothing in there. It looks like we're going to need the whole party for this. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, they're still sneaking. Come on. Come on, pals. Actually, I could have them go here. Oh, no. Can't. I don't think we can go around. Can we? Yeah, we can. Okay, good. Whew. I'm right there. This time, don't screw it up. Hey. No. What is he doing? Oh. <laughs> you. You found him. 
Excellent. Now stand aside. The Magister steps forward with a smile and draws his weapon. What? What? <laughs> no, you said you'd help. <laughs> you promised. <laughs> you promised you'd get me out. You sound so heartbroken. <laughs> oh, exactly. Okay. <clears throat> Damn it. I hate, I hate you. You are a fool. Very well. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, I'm in the water. All right. <sighs> See behind him. Huh? I'm clicking. Oh, I'm a fool. This one. Oh. Ugh. He's got magic arm. No. Damn it. And that's it. It's not gonna work, but I wanna do it anyway. physical armor it's not good oh I can do this no I'm not gonna do that gosh oh it's your turn sweet perfect Then let's regular attack. Uh. Hmm. What else can I do? I could do that. Courage. I got the Medusa head now, but then I won't have my horns. Wait, what does this do? Snakes grow out of your head, giving you a petrifying aura and the petrifying visage skill. Am incompatible with uh, bullhorns. Of course. Oh, shoot. Uh, regular attacks. <laughs> this. Okay, good. And this. What? Yeah, saw that one coming. <laughs> Gosh. And there we go. Ah, uh, you know I'm gonna call this an episode. Ay, we gotta get this guy out without fighting any more Magisters. Ay. But yeah, that's it. Just me and my annoying little brother. Scrawny. Freaking jerk. Gosh. Get some armor! <sighs> anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> what was that? <laughs>